welcome to the 118th installment of Telem Alejandro, your number one place for sports, cars, video games, fitness. If you're a man, you're here. Mr. Alejandro's about to tell him. What you about to tell him, Alejandro? I'm about to tell him about Mr. Alejandro's 2015 NBA Finals predictions. Tell him, Alejandro! T.A. Drinkers, the 2015 NBA Finals is currently underway. And right now, both the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers have won one game each in this seven-game series. Prior to the series beginning, I thought the Cleveland Cavaliers would win this series in six games. But as I feared in this series, Kyrie Irving, the second best player for the Cleveland Cavs, is out. He suffered an injury in game one. He was already favoring a knee injury. The knee got fractured. He already had surgery on the kneecap. It's a wrap. He's out for the rest of the playoffs. I believe the Golden State Warriors will win this series against the Cleveland Cavaliers respectfully in six games. I went on Twitter and said at first when Kyrie got hurt, I thought it was a wrap. I thought the Warriors was either going to sweep LeBron or win in five games. But I got to face facts and accept the fact that the Cavs do have one of the best players ever and they can definitely steal if not one, maybe two games. The Golden State Warriors remind me of an old school Phoenix Sun team with Amari Stoudemire and Steve Nash. But the difference is this Golden State Warriors team plays defense that Suns team didn't and this Warriors team is a lot deeper than that Suns team the Cleveland Cavaliers of this year reminds me of an old-school Allen Iverson team that Iverson brought to the NBA Finals a lot of people don't give that team enough credit a lot of people like to say that team was Basuda that team was definitely Basuda however Aaron McKee was definitely a six man of the year that season and the Kevin Mutombo was the defensive player of the year You're right. That's the fifth floor problem. Okay. Not in my house. <laughs> I'm looking at this Cavaliers team. I feel like it has some talent. I feel like this Cavaliers team is better than LeBron's 2014 Miami Heat team. But at the same token, with an injured Kyrie Irving and even an injured Kevin Love, I don't think they have enough firepower to defeat the Golden State Warriors. However, with those two big time significant injuries, with the Cavs missing two key pieces, they have become a much better defensive team. If not, they're probably the best defensive team in the playoffs right now, since there's only like two teams, you feel me? Because Kevin Love, he's not really a goon defender in the paint, you feel me? He's mostly in the paint because he's a power forward. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, Kyrie Irving, he locked up Stephen Curry in game one. Yeah, but that's only game one. If you watch throughout the playoffs and even in Kyrie Irving's career, he's not a goon defender. i tell you who is a goon defender. And who Who's officially on the scene? My man's Matthew Della Vadova for the Cleveland Cavs. If you've been watching him this playoffs, he put in a lot of work against Derrick Rose. He put in a lot of work against Jeff Teague. But then again, who hasn't put in work against Jeff Teague? I'm not a believer in the Atlanta Hawks. I'm just saying. That's a team. That's the second best team in the East. Let's face it. If they was in the West, they would have got whooped. And yes, Hawks fans, y'all did get swept by LeBron. Hold that L. A lot of cats from Georgia was talking mad trash to Mr. Alejandro. I don't hear y'all now. Matthew Della Vadova is a goon defender. If y'all been following, he put in a lot of pressure against Todd Gibson, against the Bulls, and he put a lot of pressure against the Hawks. He got my man's Kyle Korver, a.k.a. Ashton Kutcher's twin, injured. He was beefing with Al Horford. Della Vadova is not to mess around with. I do feel, however, Stephen Curry, who struggled against Della Vadova in Game 2, did miss some shots that Curry is going to make in this series. However, we got to give credit where credit is due, and I just got to put Della Vadova on the map because you know Mr. Alejandro Love seeing goons on the court. You feel me? So shout out to Matthew Dover Dover. Shout out! This is the first time in NBA Finals history, by the way, that the first two games have gone to overtime. So, so far, this series has been lit. I'm rooting for a six or seven game series because I want a competitive series. Hopefully, the Warriors just don't go on a route and smack LeBron. You feel me? Speaking of LeBron, that fake hairline that was on fleek that was giving him all the confidence is definitely beginning to fade. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of memes lately where my man's LeBron has been at the free throw line. And you can see the middle middle is balding. Listen, when the middle is balding, it's a rag. You see how Mr. Alejandro's corners is balding? That's not too bad, you feel me? But when the middle is fading, it's over, over. That's why my man Jordan let it go early. And Kobe, you gotta let it go too. Stop trying to hang on for dear life. Anyway, I feel like the referees in this series so far are letting a lot of banging going on. I like that. I feel like LeBron James is not getting a lot of calls. He's a whiner, but at the same token, there's definitely some calls he probably should get. Some people don't give him the benefit of the doubt. LeBron James is a tank, similar to Shaquille O'Neal, and they get hit a lot, and the referees just let it rock, you feel me? But at the end of the day, if the refs continue to let both teams bang, the Cavaliers have an advantage because they got more goons in the paint. 
Stop sleeping on Timofey Mozgov. He has redeemed himself from getting herbed up from Blake Griffin as a rookie. Mozgov is a beast. And shout out to Thompson. He's similar to Dennis Rodman and Reggie Evans. Doesn't score a lot, but he bangs, gets mad rebounds. I like that. I want a person like that on my team. I feel like the Warriors have an advantage with their coach. Steve Kerr is a better coach than David Blatt. I feel like David Blatt is not a lit coach. I feel like the coach for the Cavaliers, honestly, is LeBron James. I feel like LeBron's the general manager. I feel like LeBron James has to do so much for this team. And with the injury to Irving and Love, it's just ridiculous. Nobody can do it by himself. That's why, unfortunately, I don't think Cleveland's going to get that title that they've been dying for for years in sports. Maybe next year, maybe the year after, but this year I think it's a wrap. The Warriors will definitely win. Also, I want to give a shout out to my man, the 80s porn star, Klay Thompson. He did his thing in game two. If he keeps on putting in work, especially with Curry struggling, that's going to be a good look for the Warriors. And I also want to give a shout out to Draymond Green. I feel like he's the second best player on this team. That's just me personally. Some people are going to look at me like I'm bugging. Some people will say Klay Thompson's the second best. I love Draymond Green. I love the versatility that he brings to the game defensively. I love how he spaces out power forwards and forces him to come from the paint and guard him on the perimeter and this season will be his last with the Warriors because after he will be a free agent the Warriors y'all gonna have to pay him a max contract and if my Knicks have an opportunity to pay him do it he's a beast there you have it folks Mr. Alejandro's 2015 NBA Finals predictions TA drinkers who do you think will win this year's NBA Finals the Golden State Warriors or the Cleveland LeBrons tell them in the comments <laughs> Tonight's Skittles flavored bow tie is brought to you by Counter Smara. Bow ties taste the rainbow. Tune in for more sports cards, video games, fitness, and all that. Follow at Telem Alejandro to hear my immediate reaction to live sports events. Or if you want to hear me cover a certain team or topic, tell them outro music. Yo, if LeBron James does not win this year's NBA Finals, Mad Cats are going to say that he sucks and he's garbage and he's my suit and he's nothing. I've never seen anyone win an NBA championship by themselves and on this roster, he is a big, crucial part to it. If he wins this year's NBA Final, it's single-handedly the most impressive NBA Finals victory I've ever seen. Let's get it. Uh, T.E.